Hey guys, happy Sunday. It is Sunday, March 15th. It is about 10 o'clock in the morning. It's actually a beautiful sunny day out right now. Um, it's cold, it's only in the 30s. It's only supposed to get up to the 40s, so not the nicest of weather, a little nippy out there. But I thought I would come on here and maybe try and do a vlog this weekend. Um, so as you guys all know, we're currently dealing with the COVID-19 panic and everything that is going on with that. So I thought I would just kind of update you on where we are. So we went to the grocery store Friday night and I have never seen anything like this in my life. I'll be totally honest. Uh, normally people go crazy for like snowstorms and big storms and stuff, but this is on a totally different level. So we usually grocery shop at Hannaford. It's a chain that's in like the Northeast. We either go there or we go to Price Chopper. There are two grocery store chains in the North Northeast. If you've never been up to like New York or Massachusetts or anything, you'll find them everywhere. And we spent about $200 mainly on canned and dry goods because that stuff will last the longest. And even if we don't wind up using it, we'll still use it at some point. Uh, surprisingly, the store that we went to still had a decent amount of produce which surprised me. I really wanted to buy some potatoes actually, but they didn't have any. Like, which I understand because like St. Patrick's Day weekend and everything, but there were like no potatoes in the store. It was so weird. Um, the canned like tuna fish and chicken was pretty low when we were there. We didn't get anything from the deli. The soup section was pretty much gone. All the canned soup. So we got what we could find. Um, the pasta section was pretty much gone so I got again what I could find a bunch of spaghettis and egg noodles stuff that will last in the pantry for a while um, the bread section they actually had bread which surprised me but my husband got some bread um, on his way home from work on Friday so we have one loaf out and we froze the other one we'll use bread for sandwiches toast Bread you can use actually for hot dog rolls if you're desperate. We used to do that a lot when we were kids at my parents' house because we were, didn't have a lot of money when I was young. Um, the meat section was, there was almost no meat whatsoever. There was almost no chicken. I got lucky and I found some like drumsticks that had some seasoning on them. So I got a couple of packs of those. We Somehow there was some steak left. So I got a steak and we got a couple packs of ground beef. And I got some hot dogs because you gotta eat something. Then the thing that also I was not surprised by was the frozen section was completely empty. There was almost no frozen veggies at all. Like all I could get was peas and carrots, which was annoying because I wanted to get some other frozen stuff. Um, the dairy section was pretty empty which surprises me because that stuff expires so I don't know why people stock up on milk and cheese and stuff and let me think about the rest of the store no toilet paper no paper towel no bleach no cleaning supplies so I placed an order <clears throat> with a grove hopefully that will actually come with what I need um, I got some like soaps and stuff hopefully grove will actually be able to process it we'll see what actually happens and I also forgot to buy feminine products, so I placed an order on Amazon for some feminine products that I'm going to be needing. So that should come, I think, on Monday. So that was the grocery store. I'm going to try and insert a picture in here somewhere so you guys can see what the shelves looked like because it was crazy. We didn't have terrible lines when we went, which, again, was surprising. But we probably won't go to a grocery store again for, like, probably at least a week and a half, two weeks if we can avoid it. So for my work while I'm on here chatting. My work as of Friday afternoon, we're moving to alternate work from home. So what that means is that half of the office will be on a one week rotation. So, so half of the company will be there starting Monday, the other half will work from home. I'm in the group that's gonna be in the office on Monday. We, they've basically made everything very strict where if we have meetings, we have to stay distanced from each other's. They don't want us eating lunch in the cafeteria, so we have to bring everything back to our desks. Um, I'm trying to think of like what else. We can wear jeans every day now to the office, which is nice. Uh, normally we can only wear jeans on Fridays, so I'm not really sure why the 
COVID-19 is <laughs> making them think that we can wear jeans every day. None of our customers are allowed there, which they've stopped that a couple of weeks ago. We have a lot of international people that come visit our office, so there's that. So starting Monday, I'll be working in the office, and then the following Monday, which will be the week of the 30th, I think, or the 23rd, I have no idea. I'll be working from home for a week. I have a feeling though that that's gonna change because a lot of the schools around here are closing. So I think they might make us all work from home. It's indefinite at this point. They didn't tell us when it's gonna stop. So I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna need to tidy up my um, office closet room, whatever I wanna call it, so I can work from home up there. I'm gonna try that. And yeah, so that's pretty much where we are right now. The other thing that's really discouraging for us is that we have a trip currently planned in May to go to Ireland. Trump, um, I think on Saturday, closed. He barred travel from those countries and I'm highly doubting he's gonna let people go there because they're also having uh, COVID-19 stuff. So we're pretty sure our trip's gonna be canceled. My husband's friend is supposed to come visit next month. We're pretty sure that's gonna be canceled. We were supposed to have some vo a volunteer potentially living with us for a while for some stuff we've been volunteering for. That's been postponed. So yeah, the other thing, so travel is basically not happening. I'm pretty sure we won't be doing anything, which is really a bummer because it We'll see. I don't, I still think, I don't think it's going to happen. We'll just put it that way. So we'll probably postpone it to the fall or sometime next year if this whole thing doesn't calm down anytime soon. The other thing that has really sucked recently is that I have a family member who's not doing very well right now. And because of some of the restrictions they're putting in place, I'm not really sure when I'll be able to see that person. Hospitals are putting restrictions on visitors. I know nursing homes are doing something very similar, which makes sense. They want to protect their patients and the people who are there getting medical, have, have medical needs. I understand it. I used to work for a hospital, so none of that surprises me. Uh, same thing like when flu season gets really bad, hospital puts, they put restrictions on everything, so no surprise there. But yeah, so on top of all this crazy stuff going on in the world, if, if you have a family member who's not doing well, it adds a little bit of extra stress and anxiety onto everything. It's definitely, it's stressful, I will admit it. Um, but we'll just keep pushing through and kind of seeing where we wind up. Uh, so yeah, for the rest of today, so it's Sunday, I don't have to work today. Pretty much probably gonna clean up the house, lounge around like we did all day yesterday. The only thing we did yesterday was we ordered a pizza for dinner and my husband had to get his car inspected because he still has to go to work, so his car still has to follow state laws and regulations, so his car's all set and good to go. But yeah, we'll probably just take it easy. I might go for a walk at some point to get some fresh air. But life goes on, and you just have to try and stay positive and know that right now you're you're healthy, the, the sun is maybe shining where you live, and you're you're doing all right, and we just have to, you know, Keep that in mind and try not to panic too much. I know the media makes it scary sometimes, but we just have to, we just have to, you know, realize that we'll get through this. We always have as a country, so yeah. I think that's where I'm gonna end this little vlog sort of clip, just a little update on my life and how I'm dealing with everything right now. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I have a lot more thoughts I could share on how the country's responding to this. Maybe I'll share that at some point in another video. I have some planner videos I really need to catch up on. I'm like super far behind on filming my planner videos. So I might actually work on that today as well. So yeah, I hope you guys are staying healthy and I think I'm just gonna end this video here. So if you did like this little more of a chatty update, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you all later. Bye.